come back to me, Caesar. I thought you were angry. Welcome, Apollodorus. Cleopatra grows more womanly beautiful from week to week. Truth, Apollodorus? Far, far short of the truth. Friend Rufio threw a pearl into the sea and Caesar fished up a dam. Mm. Caesar fished up a touch of rheumatism, my friend. <laughs> come, to dinner. Yes, yes, to dinner. Oh, Caesar. I've ordered such a dinner for you. Aye, what are we to have? Peacock's brains. Peacock's brains? Mm. That's a part of door. No, I prefer nightingale's tongues. Rose boar, Rufio. Good! What shall we serve to whet Caesar's appetite? What have you got? Sea hedgehogs, black and white sea acorns, sea nettles, becaficos, purple shellfish. Is there nothing simple? The field fares with asparagus. Oh, field fares for me. Caesar will deign to choose a wine. Bring me my barley water. Ah, uh, bring me my Falernian. Oh, it's a waste of time giving you dinner, Caesar. My scullions would not condescend to your diet. Well, for once, I will sacrifice my comfort. Now are you satisfied? And you no longer believe that I long for your departure to Rome? I no longer believe anything. My brains are asleep. Besides, who knows whether I shall return to Rome? What? Eh? What is Rome to show me that I've not seen already? One year of Rome is like another, except that I grow older, and the crowd in the Appian Way is always the same age. Here in Egypt, the old men, when they are tired of life, say that they have seen everything except the source of the Nile. And why not see that? Cleopatra, will you come with me and track the flood to its cradle in the heart of the regions of mystery? Shall I make you a new kingdom? and build you a holy city there in the great unknown. Yes, yes, you shall. Now this is a noble scheme, and in it Caesar is no longer the conquering soldier, but the creative poet artist. Now let us name the holy city and consecrate it with wine. Cleopatra shall name it herself. It shall be called Caesar's gift to his beloved. No, something vaster than that, something universal like the starry firmament. Why not simply the cradle of the Nile? I oh, know. The Nile is my ancestor and he is a god. I've thought of something. The Nile shall name it himself. Let us call upon him. Send for him. Away with you all. What hocus pocus is this? You shall see. And it's not hocus pocus. To do it properly, we should kill something to please him. Perhaps he will answer Caesar without that if we spill some wine to him. But why not appeal to our hawk headed friend there? Source of the Niles out of his district, I expect. He will hear you and be angry. No, I shall have my city named by nobody but my dear little Sphinx. Because it was in its arms that Caesar found me asleep. Let us call upon the Nile altogether. Go. I'm a priestess and have power to take your charge from you. Cleopatra's priestess, Apollodorus, is devotee. Propose the conjuration. You must say with me, send us thy voice, Father Nile. Send, send us, us thy, thy voice, voice, Father, Father Nile. Nile. 